President Ivo Josipovic today presented the results of the report he requested from the Croatian Security and Intelligence Agency concerning STPMP and former Finance Minister Slavko Linic's allegation that Prime Minister Zoran Milanovic had illegally used the secret services to spy on him. Josipovic said the report stated that neither Linic nor his family had been spied on and that this had also been verified by an additional control procedure. Prime Minister Milanovic today commented that he had expected such a result, emphasizing that the system of intelligence gathering in Croatia was airtight and there was no way he could have abused it. And Chief State Prosecutor Dinko Cvitan today confirmed that the anti-corruption agency Uskot would be investigating all of Linic's allegations against Milanovic, as well as Linic's own role in those cases. Meanwhile, tomorrow the presidency of the Social Democratic Party will meet and on Saturday there will be a meeting of the presidency's central committee, at which there could be a vote on whether to expel Linic from the party. SDP presidency member Zlatko Komadina has already stated that he would vote against Linic's expulsion. The European Commission yesterday published its recommendations for each of the EU's member states, in which it said that Croatia has until 2016 to reduce its budget deficit to under 3% of the GDP. The recommendations state that it will be necessary to lower public sector salaries and reduce state spending, while increasing expenditure aimed at stimulating investment and economic growth. It was also proposed that the excessive deficit proceedings initiated against Croatia be temporarily frozen. Deputy Prime Minister Branko Grčić welcomed the Commission's positive appraisal of the steps the government had taken, saying that it was objective and realistic. Meanwhile, the main opposition party in Croatia, the HTZ, are not impressed, arguing that it would require much more than short-term technical measures to reduce Croatia's deficit. And the head of the Croatian Employers Association, Davor Majatic, today also expressed his scepticism, pointing out the fact that income from VAT would be 1.2 billion kuna less than last year, raising the question whether the government would be able to meet the targets it had set for itself. The body of another flood victim has been found in the village of Rajevo Selo. The 63-year-old was declared missing on the 17th of May after a part of a dike collapsed and the village was flooded. Buildings in the village are being inspected and damage estimates are being conducted. Also, Interior Minister Ranko Ostic has confirmed that temporary accommodation facilities are being prepared so that local people can return to the village and would clean up their homes. Sport and early this morning the Croatian national football team set off for the World Cup in Brazil. They will first fly to the Portuguese capital Lisbon, after which they will catch a flight to Salvador, where apparently at 7pm local time this evening they will have a training session. The Croatian team has one more friendly match against Australia on the 6th of June, before they open the World Cup by playing hosts Brazil on the 12th of June. And Croatian and Real Madrid midfielder Luka Modric last night received the so-called football Oscar for being Croatia's best player of this year. Players, trainers and members of the Croatian Football Union took part in the vote and this is the second year in a row Modric has won. This afternoon's forecast calls for mostly sunny and warm weather, especially on the coast. Inland, there could be some rain showers and flash storms, first and foremost in higher regions in Mejamurje and in the east of the country. Winds will be mostly weak, with a moderate westerly and northwesterly wind on the coast, which could be stronger on the open seas of the central and southern Adriatic. Highest daily temperatures will be between 20 and 25 degrees Celsius inland and up to 27 degrees on the coast and in Dalmatia.